Can you kill your brother? This is a story from the times of legends, out in the endless blue of the steppe, about two brothers. Their names were Temujin and Yumuka, bonded not just by blood, but by their souls too. Both were as wild and free as the horses that roamed the skies above. But fate was determined to drive a wedge between them, because there was an empire on the rise, and there could only be one ruler on the throne. Once upon a time, back in their youth, Temujin and Yumuka swore an oath to walk side by side. The mountains were their fortress, and the stars bore witness. But as time went on, their loyalty was put to the test. Temujin vowed to lead his people with justice, defending the rights of all. Yumuka, on the other hand, believed in the power of the aristocracy, insisting that leaders had inherent rights. Years passed, and the paths of the two brothers diverged. When Temujin changed his name to Genghis Khan, he wasn't just a man anymore. He was a legend. He became the master of the steppe, a storm that made the world tremble, a ruler who built empires. Yamuka gathered his own army, emerging as a challenger to Genghis Khan. Then, Fate brought them face to face once more. Their armies met on the vast plains of the steppe, under a sky dark enough to bear the weight of war. Genghis Khan, looking at Yumuka standing opposite him, had only sadness in his eyes. This battle was fought not just for land, but also for the memories of the past and for brotherhood. When the battle started, the noise of the clash was like thunder. Metal struck metal. Arrows darkened the sky. But Genghis Khan was after more than just a physical victory. He hoped to win back Yamuka's heart too. In the end, Genghis Khan was victorious, but he couldn't enjoy his win. As Yamuka lay dying, he gave Genghis Khan one last look, and the fire in his eyes was extinguished. In that moment, the memory of their brotherhood overcame all anger, hatred. Genghis Khan fulfilled Yamuka's last wish, sending him off in a manner befitting a ruler. This was not just a victory, but also a funeral. Even as Genghis Khan continued to expand his empire, the memory of Yamuka always remained wound in his heart. This story tells of the tragic dance between brotherhood and power beneath the stars and how the greatest battles are often hidden within the closest bonds.